Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about the Sony PlayStation 5 and the Xbox and, and how they can cost you up to $32,000. And how scalpers are selling them on eBay. Oh my God, this is insane. So for those of you who missed it, we actually did an unboxing of a PS5 the other day, me and Squid King. He's been playing it. It's okay, I think it's, uh, I think it's a weird looking machine. You know, I do, and I My think... My sister was saying that, too. Yeah, it doesn't look like a gaming console. It's really huge, and I, I am concerned about Sony's uh, censorship spree, some other stuff going on there, but we were able to get one thanks to Geeky. Yes, I want to tell this story real quick, since okay. you have to make this a certain length anyway. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, when this was coming out, there was pre-orders were coming, and I was worried about getting one, because I knew that they wanted one, Squicking especially, and I was sitting on that computer, and I kept trying to click them and grab them, and I missed, uh, they started them early. They weren't supposed to start them that early. It was announced at the time, and I thought, I'm just gonna check. And here they put them up early. So I already missed it at places like, was it Walmart I already missed it? Yeah. And I was like, crap, I'm not gonna get it. Well, I went to Target, and it wasn't showing up on their page, but here it turned out, if you went clear to the bottom of the page, they were there and they were available. So I was able to grab one then, and I was able to call my sister and make sure she grabbed one, and I put it up on Twitter to anybody that followed me so that they knew they could grab one. Um, but he was, but Neon over here was like, if you don't get one now, it's no big deal. There'll be plenty of them. You'll be able to get one when it comes out. And I'm like, I doubt that. And he's, yeah. and he poo pooed me and I, and I persevered she yet did. I persisted and yes. then here we are. <laughs> yet she persisted. Uh, she did. She got a PS5, did not have to pay $32,000. People are actually paying that? $32,000. Is it like a controller with diamonds on it or something? Uh, I, I don't know. There, there are shortages. And man, I was feeling bad about it. I wanting a new wedding ring that was like a few thousand dollars. There are, um, who are you marrying? Well, I, you, I thought. <laughs> So, yeah, there's talk that the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X will not be uh, plentiful until next year. Is anybody surprised by this? No. Have you not seen the release of consoles ever? I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for the fact we needed it for to do for our job, I would wait for a year anyway. Yeah, that's what I always tell people with you know new consoles is you get burnt because the good games don't come out at launch usually. And there's always problems. There's always something yeah. that people find is an issue. Or there's holes in it. <laughs> There's lots of holes that make people really uncomfortable. So here we go. This is coming from uh, Deseret News. Some people are paying $10,000 to $32,000 for new oh, PS5 yeah. and Xbox consoles. Are they paying it or is that people are asking for it? You see, there's a difference. No, they're paying for it. One here, a, a PS5 sold for fourteen thousand dollars. Why? Did it have like a lot of stuff with it? Uh, no. See, I, I, I don't know. See, to me, it just okay, there's a difference. If you look at, at eBay and stuff, some people could people ask for that. Doesn't mean people will sell it for that. That's why I was wondering. Well, they, they are asking for up to, but it's it's not as good of a headline to say people are asking ridiculous prices. They're not getting it. Was someone paid fourteen thousand dollars? Fourteen thousand dollars. So context here: the PlayStation Five and the Xbox Series X remain two of the most in-demand items this holiday season, as the consoles are hard to find due to limited supply. We often see this when new video game consoles drop. Yeah, again, you know, where have you been? Uh, the new PS5 and Xbox Series X have risen in price on eBay, jumping into thousands of dollars, according to GameSpot. Uh, one listing for PlayStation 5 sold for $14,493. That's insane. Some eBay sellers are asking for $10,000 for a new console. I'm looking on my phone while you do this. Okay. Keep talking. Most yeah. sold listings uh, show people paying more than $1,000 for Here's the new console. Here's people listing. Buy it now. $1,700. Buy it now. $1,800. Man, we should have bought more than one. <laughs> Buy it now. I mean, I, I just don't believe in that. Like, I don't, I, I, I hate it when people do that to me where they like, you know, they buy a bunch and then they take them all and then you can't get something. So I wouldn't do that to other people because it annoys me. But um, let me look here. I'm looking at sold. Keep talking. Keep talking while I look at sold. Uh, here's the here's the one that takes a taco. Other resellers are asking for up to thirty two thousand dollars, according to CBS News. Who the hell is going to spend thirty two thousand dollars? Okay, well, I'm looking here. Nine hundred ninety five, one thousand fifty, nine hundred eighty. I'm thinking. Let me go about the highest price. A thousand. I can see. That's about double double what you'd pay for it. I'm looking to see if I can see the highest price here. Uh, so letting me do that. But yeah, I'm just, because I'm on my phone. But yeah, I'm seeing people buying them. Now, most of them are going for about $1,000, $870. Um, i am not seeing $950. The only ones I'm seeing that have a lot, they're going for a lot of money. It's because they put controllers with it and, and, other, and games. 
Yeah. I, I'm just not seeing it to be like, you know, the prices they're saying, but. Well, this is the listing. This is the eBay listing for the thirty. Well, I mean, they're gonna sell it. Thirty-two thousand dollar PS Five. Sometimes those end up being like, you know, uh, well, one that could be multiple items, or they might have meant th- three thousand two hundred or something. I don't which know. Which is still ridiculous. Seller information, one hundred percent positive feedback. Hold um, on, I'm looking. I'm looking here for like. Wow. The most expensive to list. This is insane. I'm thinking that must be a listing error. I mean, that has to be right. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I don't know. I, I just, I've never seen consoles go that high. A couple just, thousand dollars I can see. Well, we have a, a Wii story. Remember the Wii? I do have a Wii story. That was pretty funny, actually. Tell people about your Wii. Okay, so I'm going to talk about my Wii now. Um, so when we went to get the Wii when they first came out, um, my mom had me buy one for my dad months earlier. And uh, so we, we had one for him. But then as it came closer to Christmas, we thought, well, it might be a really good present for Squid King and as a family gift. He was little then. And we went to go to Toys R Us. And Neon was letting me out of the car just because we going to return something to Toys R Us. And in front of us, these people are literally hopping out of cars that are still moving. Like the cars are moving and they're jumping out of the cars and running into, to, into Toys R Us. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I walk into Toys R Us and these people are like killing each other to get in there. And I walk in and the salesperson goes, hey, I got one more we left. Here's a coupon. Do you want it? And I'm like, okay, I'll take it. And so I went and walked in and got a Wii. Yeah, so she walks out like, I didn't expect her to come walking out with a, I'm like, what? We didn't even, we weren't even going to buy one because we're like, there's no way in hell we can get one this year. So No, no we weren't going to even suggest it to Squid King because he was, oh, he was like, what, four or five? He wasn't even that. He was, yeah. He, he was, was like maybe, maybe, maybe four, four. Maybe. And we were going to, we weren't even going to suggest it to, a, you know, about as a gift because we didn't want to get him excited about it and think Santa, you know, snubbed him. So we didn't even mention it. And then Santa hates you. Santa brought away because, because Santa's helper, Geeky Sparkles, hopped out of a car to do a return and it got the last one by accident. That happened to me kind of uh, when I was a kid. I didn't ask for when Super Mario 2 came mm-hmm. out. I knew there was no chance in hell of getting it. So I didn't even ask for it. And here my my grandmother found it by accident at Sears. They had just gotten some in. And they were have they had news stories and everything about how nobody could find Super Mario Brothers too. So I, I didn't ask for it. And I got it on Christmas. I'm like, oh my God, how did I get it? And she's like, Yeah, I didn't think you had that one. I didn't recognize the box, and I know you like those Mario games. I just happened to see it there. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, and meanwhile, my parents were all over the countryside looking for, for it for my brother when they did find it. But I remember going, we were sitting in the car, and my dad was driving all over the place in, like, a huge, like, 300-mile radius trying to find that damn game. Quote, unquote, chip shortage. That was mm-hmm. Nintendo's thing was the chip shortage. And Zelda 2 was the same. But Zelda 2 was garbage. But we knew this was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody knew this. That's why I said to, to, to Neom when he was trying to be like, oh, just wait, it's no big deal. I'm like, if I do, you're not going to get it. Um, and I was, I was prepared to stay up till three or four in the morning if I had to. Uh, and I got it, and I and and we got it here. But yeah, this is insane. Yeah, so they're blaming bots. Uh, they're blaming shop bots for this. Okay, no, they're not wrong though. Okay, wait, what's what, they, what exactly are they say about shop bots? And I'll tell you what's going on about um, this because I know some stuff about this. They said the PS5 debuted exclusively through online retail sites such as Walmart, Best Buy, allowing bots to swoop in. Okay. And make purchases in right. milliseconds. That's true. I'll tell you why. Milliseconds. You know how I've complained about Shop Disney and trying to get the, the, the Minnie Mouse to make attraction, but what's going on was there are bots coming in? And then mm. in searching about this, I found all these different places that you can go. And what you do is you pay a, a fee or whatever, and then you tell them what that you want, and then they send the bots out to buy it all. So what, what was happening with some of these things before stuff would even launch, uh, right, right it would, or as it would launch, the bots would go in and take the entire supply out. So that is most likely very, 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 true because I've seen it happening with other things and people were bragging about oh here's what I'm going for next can't wait for PS5 to launch so I can get like 10 of those and I saw people bragging about this on on social media yeah so this is uh, what's going on they said they're actually the the websites the way the the, uh, e-commerce sites are set up it's actually helping the bots right that's why we had that is why we had the switch shortage yeah because people were bragging about buying all these switches whenever they and then as soon as it would get listed on a site they'd be gone and like immediately and then people were bragging about how they were buying the switches and selling them on ebay for hundreds of dollars uh more than they cost because people were trying to find things like that when they were in lockdown yep that that's uh, this is completely true i've seen it yeah but you know the gamers gamers were upset because they're like hey you knew this was going to happen mm-hmm. you knew it was going to happen there are two two major system launches 
and uh, you, you guys done effed up. Well, then, then they didn't have limits, yeah, um, which was a problem. And even if they have limits, guys, they get around it. The new thing they are doing with the Minnie Mouse Man attraction limits is two per person. So what people are doing is they're using bots to, to put a bunch of entries in to get picked, and that they get more than their two per address. They turn around and say, well, for like the same price it costs you to buy the item, you can pay me the money to give you access to my fake account so you can then go buy the item for the same price. Yeah. So you're paying it twice. And that's what these places are doing. Um, and it's it's a big thing that there's a lot of these organizations and groups out there that are that are doing this and they're wiping out anything that's a hot toy or a hot item like, you know, or we saw it with mouse ears that were expensive and, and different things. Were, and then they're on eBay for mm -hmm. thousands of dollars. It, that's what's going on. Up to thirty two. Yeah, I think that was a typo. I really do. <laughs> uh, but I mean, they do have precedent. One sold for you know, almost fifteen thousand. I don't understand why it had to have a lot of stuff with it. Thousand dollars. I'm guessing they don't have a link to it, so I'm guessing it had stuff with it. I don't know. Absolutely crazy. Or it was crazy. more than one or something. No, I think it was. I just that's insane. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, I do think that people are going to, as we get closer to Christmas, are going to be paying thousands of dollars. I'm sure. Is, remember that Elmo situation, Tickle Me Elmo? Remember Tickle Me Elmo was like the thing in the Santa guy almost killed them all? Oh, I didn't know if you were talking about Tickle Me Elmo or Kevin Clash. But um, what? what? Elmo's puppeteer. Oh, okay. He got no. caught tickling too. He got he, No, I'm talking about the yeah. toy um, okay. back in the 90s. Cause I remember on the, I was on my way to college and I was in the car driving and I was listening to the story about it. But yeah, I guess the mall was doing this thing where um, they were, people were trying to find, there was a contest to find a Tickle Me Elmo in the mall. But what they didn't realize, what, what they did realize, but Santa was sitting on it. Like it was under Santa's chair. So these people were doing the scavenger hunt trying to find this Elmo. And then when the people realized it was under Santa's chair they all ta they all like you know swarm santa and do i think the dude got hurt but they swarm santa trying to fight it was like in, in jingle all the way and stuff you see oh, it was like turbo that. man yeah yeah that's like where they got the idea from but they swarmed santa and he only he got he got harmed that guy that got trampled that poor guy that got trampled at walmart and oh, black yeah. friday i mean people are just in you know oh i remember what was the one the one woman was that woman she grabbed a cart full of ds's when they came out oh my Nintendo god ds's and then she was like selling them out of the cart yes you can tell that it was over at toys r us that was was that toys r us yes or it was it, no it was walmart and the toys r us guy was friends with the manager at walmart and they said basically yeah she took a cart went to the section with the things and and i don't know how how would she get them though wouldn't they been locked out they, or were they black friday yeah uh, they're okay so they had a black friday special they were special edition uh nintendo ds i think they were the mario ones or something i don't remember um they had mario and pokemon i think but they were special edition just for black friday and she had a whole cart full now i don't know if she went to the pallet and put them all in her cart or what but she had every last system they had in the store and she parked over in the corner and she was making people pay her like 50 or 100 dollars to take one out of her cart right and the thing is people are like how could they do that and then one person grabbed the, one of them out of the cart to walk away and then he got in trouble because he took something out of someone's cart yeah and yeah, it, was it was like, insane. and it was, it was and, and I'm like, why didn't the store step in and do something? I mean, I don't understand that. It was really crazy. But I remember we were hearing about it and the one Toys R Us manager, uh, we knew him and he was, he was friends with the manager at Walmart and he was telling us about it. Well, remember last year too, uh, unrelated to this, but in Black Friday in general, people were really upset. There's a town nearby here and people went to Black Friday and before the doors were open, there's this big, there's U-Haul trucks pull up and there are employees from Walmart as soon as the doors open pulling out big pallets full of stuff and loading it into their van and they are buying like every item that every like toy of this kind of toy or that kind oh, yeah. of thing and putting it in their van and then taking it and putting it on amazon and stuff and people were really upset because they this is they like, got there they went to go grab something and, oh no that someone already bought these and then they were they literally had employees hauling the stuff out to their car mm -hmm. and loading it into their their u-hauls for them and it was a big it was on the news and everything people were so mad so anyway back to the point which is uh, xbox good luck it's black it's in black friday sale flyers, yeah so. good good luck getting one if you want one uh, personally if it's not like you need to have it for christmas I would say wait six wait. months or a year until they actually have good games out. But and not just that, if there's if there's issues. It usually appears within the first few months. People are already yeah. reporting issues. Uh, PS5, they're talking. Yeah. About they're they're bricking after a couple of days. Right. So, so you know, yeah. if you don't get one, don't feel too bad. Just wait because I think you're going to find that there's going to be issues that are going to be fixed. Yeah. Um. So don't get too worried or upset yet. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah. Hey, if you have any fun stories from your Black Friday experiences or things, you know, <laughs> share them in the comments. Yeah, that would be fun. That'd be fun. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. 
Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.